this is a demonstration of the um, object drawing uh, cloner for MT4. Um, as you can see, we've got MT4 loaded. We've got three charts open. They're all of the NASDAQ um, 100 set to the five minute scale at the moment. We're going to change the bottom one to one hour time scale just so you can see um, how the objects are copied over. Um, and up here, you can see I've already put on a load of uh, drawings. Uh, please ignore how rubbish they are, but they are just there at random. So if I take the script, um, which I've installed in the Bunnywood folder um, on, on my system, but you could install it just under the script so it sits alongside the free ones that come with the platform. Um, basically, you take, you drag the script onto the chart that contains the drawings you want to be copied. So if I drop it on here, uh, it will show you the inputs. Um, if you leave it at the defaults, which says any time frame and all objects, then you'll see it's copied all the objects onto both charts. Um, this chart appears a bit squashed up because it is a higher time frame, it's the one hour. If I change the time frame on this back to the five minutes to match the other two, you can see all the drawings are exactly as you would expect them to be. So if I'm now going to just go in and delete them off the bottom chart. This again is another script we offer, but I'll do a video on that later. OK, so now we've got back where we started. We've got two charts which have nothing on. Uh, we have our main chart at the top. I'm going to change the bottom chart to be something else. It can be anything. I'm just going to make this one the Aussie 200. Um, so it's not related to these charts in any way. If I drag the clone drawing script onto here again and say use the defaults, um, any time frame, all objects, you can see it's now copied it onto this chart but not onto this chart. You can put it any time frame or like there are no objects on there. And if I look to see if there's any objects, you don't get the list of objects. If I look on here, uh, I get the object list. So if I just go and delete them all off here again, change this now back to the NASDAQ. There we are. I'm just going to put these on the five minute scale so it's just easier to see what's going on. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag the script up here. But I'm going to say I'm only interested in copying the Fibonacci retracement um, type of uh, drawing into the other charts. So if I do that, you'll see that literally only the Fibonacci retracement has been copied over the text boxes, the lines um, and these little arrows have been completely ignored and they're no longer on there. I do that. Delete them all again. Now the other feature is at the moment I've got the five minute, the five minute and the one hour. If I say I only want to copy the objects to a chart that says one hour and copy all objects. The objects are only copied to the one hour chart at the bottom. I'm going to just turn that back to the five minutes. As you can see, they're all there. Just delete them all again. And if I change this one to now, if I leave that at 15, five minutes, that one at an hour and I say clone all the drawings. I say make it only to the chart 15 minutes, which we don't have. We don't have a chart open at 15 minutes. You'll see that nothing gets copied anywhere. So that's the end of the demonstration. I hope it's been useful. Um, please uh, look at the link at the bottom of the video um, for where to download the indicator. Uh, sorry, the script. Um, it's basically hosted on the MQL5 website. Um, 
if you search for Robert Gerald Wood, you'll find uh, all the products that I offer and the, the clone drawings uh, script is the one we've just been looking at. Thank you very much.